Hey guys, I just wanted to showcase you my Tomb Kings army. So this is all 3D printed. Every single piece is 3D printed thus far. Um, so I've gone from two different ranges. I've gone from one page rules, Mummified Undead, and from the Highlands in War, I think it was the September release. Um, so the bulk of the troops, the cavalry, are all from the September release of Highlands and War, and then the characters, the giants, the Ushapti, Tomb Scorpion, and the Amut, which I'm going to use as a second Tomb Scorpion, um, the Casket, etc. They're all uh, one page rules. So I'll quickly show you up close what each of the items looks like, but this is about 2,000 points. Um, I can't take four giants in the game. Um, this this here was the Hyro Titan, if anybody remembers the Hyro Titan. Um, this is no longer in Old World from what I've seen, uh, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, so I may just run this as another um, just Bone Giant uh, Necrolith Colossus, as it's known in the Old World book now. And I printed these two here, which currently got literally just freshly printed both of these um these again just going to be necrolith colossuses the more standard looking one here he's probably going to get a lot of um, love and uh, a another one here with a two-handed axe which i thought was very cool two-handed hammer sorry um so i may be able to run three in a list in which case all three of those are going to get a run in um the other one here which i painted up this is my test piece for the tomb king's army um Unfortunately, there is no bow Necrolith Colossus in Old World. Um, so this one was originally from, um, if you look at the Warhammer Armies project, this is the Bone Giant with the Bow of the Desert, which was a ballista, essentially a ballista, strength six ballista. And as they have the arrows of a Saf rule, they always hit on a five plus, um, which is not that bad. You know, it's like Orc ballistic skill, but no modifiers. Um, so that was kind of fun, but unfortunately I can't use him. He's essentially just the display piece now, um, unless they just decide to change the rules on that, we'll see. Um, but the Hyro Titan here, so this is the um, Hyro Titan from the One Page Rules. I have added two Immolator um, Braziers to the top here, because these were meant to be the scales. Um, and the axe here, I essentially printed two axes and chopped off the blade so I could have a second one of this sort of like end piece of the staff on the other end. So he's had a little bit of a kit bash on him, nothing too spicy. I think he looks pretty cool as he is. Um, but yeah, I, it's a shame that there's no rules for this guy just yet. Again, they might do an expansion down the line and bring him back out again because he was quite an interesting rare choice as kind of like a really... Uh, point heavy giant which had some bound spells so maybe for balance reasons they removed the uh, spells from this because it al allowed it to do soul gaze i think it was or spirit leech um and then another spell as well um and some other buffs which were in in range of it so i might still play some um some of the army's project rules we'll see uh, me and my friend might have a go at Army's Project points and units, but with the old world stats. Next, we're going to show you all the different chariots we've got here. So we've got three different variants from Highlands in War. Um, I've got the Musician, the Champion and the Standard Bearer. And I've just sort of swapped around some of the crew a little bit. So I've got effectively two Standard Bearers. And my plan is to print two more of these chariots. Um, but they have three different variants on the actual chariot front piece so you see this one here on the left's got the wings i've given him a, a bow and a whip you've got this chap here with like kind of like a standard bearer uh with a spear he could maybe be a tomb guard chariot because you can get tomb guard chariots now instead of just normal chariots um there's this one here with the musician and finally one on the end potentially the one with the champion it's got a slightly different headpiece there um, and again a different uh, front frontage of the chariot but as you can see like the models look really nice they look updated 
the skeletons actually look like they're in scale they don't look as derpy as the uh the actual games workshop ones do um, and this is the main thing about doing these 3d prints because they're much more updated and in line um with current aesthetics so this is going to be my tomb king i haven't glued him down i'm going to paint him separately um, but it's going to be tomb king on chariot this is from one page rules um, and i had to scale this up so the one page rules miniatures are 28 millimeters scale the highlands and war stuff is 32 mil scale which is in line with games workshop so everything that's one page rules that you see here i scaled it up between 20 and 50 percent on the files so that's why those giants have got some distinctive differences uh, but he's going to be yep uh, king on chariot which is how i'm going to run my king initially but i will be getting some different character models down the line i would like the games workshop one but it did sell out immediately so quickly while we're on that topic i've got a casket of souls here and this is the one page rules casket of souls scaled up by i think 20 20 percent uh, and i quite like this model it makes it look a little bit more like it can be moved around obviously because he's got the mummies he's pulling along with him um with all of the souls and everything coming out the top i do like the original casket of souls miniature as well and you know as it's meant to be on this uh base size i think it's 50 by 75 mil um that would have been interesting turned on its side but as these guys are coming forward i thought it was better to keep it this orientation um and as you can see i'll just show you the quickly just show you the giants this giant here the first one i printed this is the one page rules with a 20 percent increase in scale and the giant on the right is with a 50 percent increase in scale and i i've measured it up a regular games workshop gargant is literally the same height as this happy chappy so i thought that was a more suitable height to have a bone giant at um rather than this size yes he does look very good um, but I think this chap's going to look very imposing on the battlefield, which is kind of what I wanted to go with. I really love this style that the One Page Rules guys have gone with. So, yeah, if you want to go to Games Workshop sort of scale, get, um, increase the scale to 50%. Um, so next up, I'll show you the Ushabti. I'll get these out of the way. Actually, I'll show you the archers because they are nearer. Um, I've used these Hounds and War converters here. and They come as like a little strip. Um, and essentially it's just allowing me to put the 25 mil bases on here because I printed and put these all on 25 mil bases as I hadn't seen the uh, I've not magnetized these in yet um, I hadn't seen any of the base sizes at the time and luckily enough Highlands of War have released this file for free so you can get this bad boy here and this just allows you to convert them to 25 mil scale bases so I've got a squad of 15 archers. I might do a 10 and a 5 because you can actually attach a squad of archers to your spearmen, which I'll come to next. So the spearmen, again, I've got a big block of 20 here. They look a lot more imposing on these uh, split 25 mil bases. Um, I started painting them. As you can see, there's a bit of splash of colour. I'm going for this blackened bone scheme rather than the standard sort of screaming skull look because if you actually look at mummies in the museum they all actually have more sort of oxidized bones so it's all blackened with time it's gone a bit red um so it's looking a bit more different um you can see some close-ups of the bone giant on my instagram as well but here's a quick close-up for you so you can see that's kind of where i'm going with it it's like a reverse highlighting process and I honestly think this is just going to allow my army just to stand out a little bit differently from the rest of the pack um, on the tabletop. And I think it allows the bandages and stuff to sort of pop a little bit more um, in line with the rest of the scheme with this sort of style. Um, I've also gone for like a green glow in the eyes. So that's cool. That's going to be the color scheme. Um, the camera is currently pointed on these happy chappies here, so I'll get them out for you. So this is the li um, a lich uh i'll probably run him as my level two um again one page rules scaled up by 20 percent to um, make sure that he's about the same height as one of the highlands and war skeletons maybe a little bit taller there you go so he's a little bit bigger there um yeah he looks pretty cool he's going to stand up nicely in the unit and um, all of the highland stuff was sort of designed to sit in squads um now this is 
Queen is going to be my level 4 Lich Priest until I get some sort of proxy for the, uh, the dragon. I have got a file in mind for it, and we're going to save that for a special project um, YouTube video. I'm going to do a print and paint video on that, so it's going to be quite exciting. It's going to be the one-page rules miniature again. I'm not going to tell you which one. You might be able to guess, um, but she's pretty cool, and I'm going to do another Lich Priest after that one. Um, next up, we've got the different Ushapki here. Now, I've scaled these up by 50% because in the law, it says that the Ushapki are actually three times the height of a man. Okay, so if you look up a, look at a skeleton, let's get this handsome little skeleton out of his tray there. Not quite three times, but definitely twice the height of a, of a regular skelly bro um and i think they fill the 40 mil base nicely so i'm definitely going to be going for a big squad of six of these i've printed uh three with the twin hand weapons and three with the great weapons i'll run them as a big squad of six um you know and 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 just say you know i'm running them as twin hand weapon or maybe put them more on the front um, and leave the guys with the, the, the du dual hand weapons in the back or swap them around if I'm telling them I'm running them as two hand weapons that way I'm not like doubling up I might print more but for now I'm quite happy with with this as it is I may end up going for another block of six because I really like Ushapti in this edition they're looking really really tasty um, next up we've got the Tomb Scorpion so I've got two files for the Tomb Scorpion. I've only printed one thus far, um, and I think I'm going to have to rebase him, which is a shame, because I'm quite happy with the basing that I did, like building up some cork and gravel and milliput to get like like a slope, like he's just come out of a uh, out of the ground here, and he sort of smashed his way out and is riding down the hole that he made. That's kind of what I wanted to do with him, but he is now meant to be coming on this size of base which is the 50 by 75 mil um so i'm gonna have to rebase him unless my opponent doesn't really care that much um then i did print this miniature i will find i'll put it in the notes where this guy came from um but in the in the warhammer armies project rules there is something called an amut so a-m-m-u-t an amut and it's like an undead crocodile demon that lives within like the realm of the dead for the tomb kings and essentially these guys go around just eating souls so it's like a demon that the gods of the tomb kings can control and the tomb prince can actually lash them to his will so in army's project it kind of acts as like a vanguarding monstrous creature um which has got like a hunter rule and it's pretty cool. I really like the monster. I really love the, the look of it. I'm going to run it as a second Tomb Scorpion um, just because I have one already. I do. I could print a second one, but I really want to use this cool little crocodile demon. Um, and if I'm going to run Army's project, I'll use him as he's meant to be. So there you go. And I did have three of the Ushapti with bows printed. However, they were scaled too small, so they were like my first print. So I've put them in the bin as I'm not going to use them. I'm going to reprint three more Ushapti with bows to have as another unit, um, which will bulk up my 2k points. Um, in the meantime, I'll probably run another giant. <laughs> um, now, the last unit to show you guys is this unit. I've got two units of five skeleton horsemen. There you go. So these guys um, are Highlands in War. They look fantastic. I love how the the sculpting has been done on the horses. They don't look like really derpy like the new, like the well new, the new old term Tomb Kings look. Um, there's a lot more variation in the poses. So nice little cavalry unit here with uh, with bows. I probably will end up uh, printing another set and do a ten man spearman unit with shields um just because they they look quite fun and i've seen a couple of games people using them now um and i think cavalry is going to be very strong in this edition 
So there you go, guys. That is my Tomb Kings fully 3D printed force. So I highly recommend that if you have a 3D printer, you know, I managed to print this entire army basically off one and a half bottles of, of ABS resin. Um, I did have some, some stuff I wanted to reprint, like, for example, the, another unit with Shapti, and I printed these extra giants, you know. So you get a lot of uh, bang for your buck. If you sign up to the Highlands in War Patreon, you can get access to these miniatures. You could also buy them from merchants like myself. I have a merchant license for Highlands and War. Um, see links in the description. I haven't got all the Highlands pro uh, products up on my website yet, but I am working on it. Um, but the the one page rule stuff, you can sign up to their Patreon and they do do 75% discount offers and things like this. So if you keep an eye out for an offer, you can get yourself some serious discount. Otherwise, sign up to their Patreon. You get 50% off the My Mini Factory store and you can pick up the collections or whatever you might need because let's face it, you've probably already bought the Tomb Kings box set. So if you wanted to just get something like some different chariots, um, these cool looking Shapti and like a Tomb Scorpion or whatever, you can get the files individually on my mini factory or you can get the bundle deals which just contain a lot more stuff and you're getting a lot more bang for your buck so there you go guys i wanted to keep this relatively short um hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy the old world see you soon